Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is my Miele dishwasher. It has a cold only fill, but I want to see if it's better to fill it with hot water for the purposes of saving money. In theory, it'll take the same amount of energy one way or the other because it's gonna have hot water from gas or hot water from electricity. At the moment, all the water comes in as cold and then it's heated by the machine, the element in the machine to get up to temperature. So what I'm gonna start by doing is over here, in my cupboard, I have an electricity meter and a time-lapse camera looking at the meter and a lamp so that the camera can see what's going on. And it's going to measure how much energy, electrical energy is used on the auto 55 to 65 cycle. And typically most of the loads that I put into the machine are the same. It's quite full and it has a lot of uh, clean things. I rinse everything first and loads should be similar. What's good about this machine or this location is that there's a hot and a cold fill behind here because there probably used to be an old washing machine here in the past but right now we only use the cold so I can switch it over to the hot later and try that. At the moment it's washing and you can see very slowly the ring on the meter is going round. So presumably there's no heater on yet because when the heater comes on that'll spin pretty so Look at the two dials with circles around them. Black one's kilowatt hours and the red one's a tenth of a kilowatt hour. It started at 7.1 and it ran up to 8.8 .8, so that makes 1.7 kilowatt hours for this cycle. A few days later I did it again and it started at 8.8 .8 kilowatt hours and went up to what we'll call 10.5. That gives me 1.7 kilowatt hours again for this type of cycle. This is what it looks like in behind my dishwasher. We've got the cold coming in, going up and around and down into this unit. And we've got the hot coming in and going up. Originally, both of them were going pointing up. Don't know why, but I did this bit of a maneuver to get this box on here. And because this box, this is an Aquastop box, because this is on the dishwasher, I have to make the hot go upside down as well. I think what I'm going to do is just put an end cap on the cold temporarily while I do the experiment and just divert this over to here because otherwise it gets a bit more complicated and I have to make bring this one down and bring that one over the top and over here or something like that. I don't know what mood I'm in. I'll see how I go. If you're interested in what an Aquastop is, check out my other videos on Aquastops. I'll put a link uh, up here. They turn off the water if they detect a leak in the machine is a simpler way to describe it. I'll come back when it's all done. So that's what it looks like now. The hot just goes into there. The writing on the wall is obsolete and I've capped off the cold, turned the water back on and I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it to see if it's going to leak, but I don't think it will. Those push fits are pretty foolproof, especially when you're working with copper, they just push on and that's it. Let's turn that on. So let's get the dishwasher back in and set up the time lapse camera in the cellar to look at the energy consumption in the gas meter. So the opening reading here is 1877.3 hundreds of cubic feet and if you look there at the little dial on the right, a little clock going around, every time it goes around it measures 0 0.71 cubic feet per revolution. So that might be a more accurate representation than the red number in the box. So when it comes to the end, it'll be 1877.4 or the little red dial will have gone around just over four times. If it's 1877.4, that means we've got 0 0.1 hundred cubic feet or 0.284 hundred cubic feet for this wash cycle. So let's look at the results. I pay 23.05p for electricity per unit. And for gas, it's 5.63p per unit. So you'd expect that there would be a benefit to using gas over electric for the energy. Thinking about the electric only, we reckoned it was 1.7 kilowatt hours from two measurements. Based on this unit rate, that would give 39 pence per cycle, which I don't know, is that high or is that low? What I can say is I did a test with the Bosch washing machine that I use in the cellar. It uses about 0 0.5 kilowatt hours of electricity when it's getting its hot water from water heated with gas. So for a hour, hour and a half cycle in a washing machine, it's using 0 0.5 kilowatt hours, which is less energy. But here you're heating the water and drying the dishes as well. Think about gas then. 
I measured that even if the water is heated with gas, the machine still uses one kilowatt hour of electricity each time. So that's 23p, regardless of how much gas you're using. And then we did a best case and a worst case scenario. So the best case was 0 0.1, 100 cubic feet, 0 0.1, and that becomes 3.2 kilowatt hours when you translate it across into from, from hundreds of cubic feet into kilowatt hours of energy. And that's just based on the location where I'm based. It's part of your billing situation. 3.2 times 5.63 of gas. I better write that better here. Can't really see it on the screen. 5.63 times 3.2 is 18p. Giving 41p. And then the worst case, the electric stays the same at one kilowatt hour, but with the gas, it went up to 51p. So 51 plus 23 is 74p. So then with electric, it was always 39p. Best case gas, 41p, which is very similar. And worst case was 74p. And I would say it's somewhere between the two because it went from 0.3 to 0.4, was it? But it still kept cycling. You could see the little clock going around. So it could be up to, I would say, rather than being 0.1 or uh, point, what do I call it, 0.2 something, it's probably closer to 0.2. Regardless, it's more than 39 pence per cycle. And I was wondering why that was happening. And then I thought, well, how does a dishwasher work? It takes in water, heats it up, and then washes, and then does a rinse, and the rinse is probably cold. And then it heats it all up again at the end, using uh, the element to heat the air, to heat the dishes, which uses a good chunk of electricity, obviously. So when you take the heating of the water out, you're only taking it at 0.7 kilowatt hours, and that's quite low. I was surprised at that. And in this case, with the dishwasher, you're only heating exactly what you need in terms of water so there might be some water in the pipe and all that kind of stuff whereas with a washing machine you'll have the same thing but you're not trying to heat up air in a washing machine and with a washing machine that has a hot and cold fill you have a choice whereas this dishwasher only has one fill so if i'm putting in hot water when the machine only wants cold water for a rinse i'm just wasting that energy so there you go i'm gonna have to pull this dishwasher out again and put it back on the cold fill because otherwise I'm wasting energy and money. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give us a like. And if you've got any questions or comments, please write them down below. Thanks for watching. See you later.